My name is Chef Marcus Samuelson, partner of Havmar right here in Chelsea. Sustainability through a BIPOC black lens, it's very different for me. It was really thinking about, A, who works here? Who are the leaders? Uh, and focusing on women of color and leadership positions, but also who sells to us? Who are our vendors? For us, it's really important to work with BIPOC winemakers, work with craftspeople in the industry that uh, was super entrepreneurial, but maybe didn't get the spotlight, work with upstate farms, new startups. I just want Havmar to be a gathering spot that feels inclusive, whether you're a visitor to New York, whether you're a New Yorker. Hopefully, someone gets inspired by this. When I start thinking about another restaurant, it really starts with neighborhood and community. And for me, Chelsea is one of those epic, iconic Manhattan communities that people all over the world knows about. So to be in Chelsea, to have a true dialogue with the artist community, with the galleries, with the artists themselves, gives us another reason to be part of this, right? So it's beyond a restaurant. We're part of a community, we're part of a place. Derek has worked with us at Red Rooster for a long time with his art. With Derek, it's also about other artists. Like he works with young, talented artists in his studio in Brooklyn, and very similar to the way I work and collaborate with young chefs coming up. We came together to think about what a seafood restaurant could be in a contemporary culture and in a space that is surrounded by galleries and other creative spaces, artist studios. Marcus and I began talking about family and ritual and things that we both felt really strongly about, things that we wanted to be a part of the restaurant. We both were interested in conveying through the restaurant beyond the idea of food, but the experience surrounding the food experience. In the conversation that we had, they seemed so magical that I thought of an image that would represent this idea of mystery and fantasy but also um, like joy and entertainment. Yeah, I wanted people to look up and laugh or look up and smile while they're eating. Like I was really interested in like lightness and levitation. Traditionally, the way I came up, there was one chef. It was only yes chef. Now it's kind of more like maybe chef, you know, it's a collaboration and I really enjoy that. Mental health is a big part that we struggle with in our industry and fine dining very often means that we focus on the guest, but our staff it's just completely burnt out. And we, that's not a, a way to move forward. We gotta figure out where staff can have a life where they feel engaged and feel fully members of a, of a community. You can't have burnt out staff and great food. This is a history where fine dining comes from and this is a conversation that's happening in London, Paris, Stockholm, and New York City. And we as leading chefs have to really drive that forward and be supportive of that and figure that out. The food really, it's anchored in seafood, in ocean, and vegetable forward, sustainability forward, right? So the seafood portions could be about three ounces of animal protein, and then lots of vegetables. We want this to be a small plate, maybe ordering four or five, but also a feast. Some dishes are larger, some dishes are smaller, but we want you to have fun with it and order in a communal way. So we have our seaside waffle, which is a seafood waffle dish, super delicious with shrimp on top. We have the sweet opium, which is cured salmon with berbere. It's all about sharing and enjoying these different bites, these textures, these visuals, these flavor combinations. It's an open kitchen, so as a consumer, as a guest, you're part of this theatrical performance, right? People work hard, so when they come to a restaurant, they should feel, I can just hang out and watch the show, but it has to be a delicious show. Red Rooster has given me so much, and it was part of really becoming a landmark in New York City, and I got the team at Red Rooster to thank for that, and the New Yorkers that betted on us. So there's a lot of DNA that we take from Rooster, but also, this is different. We have many moods, we have different tastes, and we come from different narratives. We've seen it in music, we've seen it in art, and now we're gonna see it in food. I'm just super excited about Hav Mar, and when I look and work with this team side by side, I'm even more excited looking five years from now and seeing the talent, maybe some of them moved on, maybe some of them opened their own stores, and to do that and see that the majority will be incredible women of color shaping New York City, changing it, inspiring other cities to do that. I just think we're gonna have a bit better uh, restaurant community, a healthier restaurant community, and a more delicious uh, restaurant community.